Hi, everybody. Well, you heard it here first. You heard it here first. Former Ohio State quarterback Terrell Pryor will start for the Oakland Raiders within the next three years. Today, the Raiders made the former Ohio State quarterback the third round pick in the NFL supplemental draft, the 18th pick in the third round. And it was a smart move. Arguably, he should have went in the first, but he didn't because of allegations regarding violations of NCAA rules, regarding memorabilia and the sale and giveaway of memorabilia. But my other prediction is that, considering the Miami scandal and the other scandals with college sports that have occurred before the Miami scandal, you're going to hear about more and more supposedly good, good, good college players being involved in the kind of activity that Terrell Pryor was involved in, namely saying, hey, look, this is my jersey with my name on it or magazine with me on it. Here, I'll give you this in exchange for a tattoo or something like that, which on its surface doesn't seem to be so bad, right? But then we're dealing with the NCAA, which won't allow a student athlete to engage in work study where they play for play football or gymnastics and get paid for it. Just as I would work in, say, the college mailroom and get paid for it. Unless, God forbid, they make working in the mailroom a sport, right? Just saying, okay? So, let's get back to Terrell Pryor before we get too off the track. He's going to start for the silver and black, and here's why. Take a look at this video where he's throwing to New England Patriots wide receiver Chad Ochocinco. Look at that efficient throwing delivery. He's a little off the mark, which means he needs to work on his timing, and he needs to understand how to throw in a more compact way, a smaller way, and throw with, out of the hitch step. That is, take that extra hitch out of his push to get the ball off out of his pattern. If he can do that, he'll get the ball there quicker, between the numbers, always on target. That's really one of the few things Terrell Pryor needs to work on. And then there is his incredible 4.3940 speed. I mean, are you kidding me? For a guy that's almost six foot six tall, uh, unbelievable. And then he played an offense at Ohio State, not a spread, but a more traditional pro-style offense, which means that once he learns the system, and he, I might add that he is willing to learn, you can see it in his face, he's coachable, look at the tapes with Gruden, he wants to come in, he wants to learn, he wants to absorb everything, this man will be a, a great NFL quarterback. You can mark that. But if you don't believe me, listen to his agent, Drew Rosenhaus, who basically said this, Terrell Pryor has 8,000 total yards in three years, 59 touchdowns, a, a record at Ohio State, and this is Big Ten football that he dominated. Of course, if you don't believe that Drew Rosenhaus actually said that, here's Drew t telling you himself. You talk about Cam Newton being the first pick of the draft and he deserves it. Let me tell you what. I'll make all the comparisons all day long. He is 31-4 and four at Ohio State. He is 8,000 total yards in three years. He holds 59 touchdowns, a record at Ohio State. This is Big Ten football that he has dominated. Terrell Pryor will start for the Oakland Raiders. Oh, Merrill Hodge of ESPN, who said that he uh, wouldn't basically select Terrell Pryor, he made the same comments about Vince Young way back in 2006, and he was wrong about Vince Young. He's going to be wrong about Terrell Pryor. Mark this video, mark this date, bet on it. Stay tuned. Oh, and follow me on Twitter and subscribe to me right here on YouTube or Blip TV or all of my other video channels. Or both, or all of them, everything. Just do it.